You can now buy loadouts in Warzone 2, so in this video I'm going to show you the fastest way to make a bunch of money right as soon as you drop in so you can get that loadout before anybody else. So Raven Software tweeted out that loadout drop grenades are currently enabled in Battle Royale for players to purchase via buy station, pricing below, solos 8,000, duos 16,000, trios 24,000 and quads 32,000. And I immediately saw some people saying that's like an insane amount of money, you're never going to be able to find that, it's really hard to find money in Warzone 2. But it's really not that hard as long as you know where to look. Obviously you can do contracts to get money really quickly and it's a really good idea for at least one person on your team to go and get a contract straight away. Although it is worth noting that the safecracker contracts have always been kind of hot drops in Warzone 2 and I I feel like with this change they're going to get even more hectic. But the absolute best place to drop to get money is this set of shops and restaurants next to High Rise. You can go in there and not only find a bunch of crates which sometimes have a lot of money in but they're a bit hit or miss, but there's loads of cash registers and often those cash registers will have thousands of dollars inside them. People seem to know to go hit up the cash registers in petrol stations but they don't seem to realize that this building and a bunch of the buildings just to the southeast of here have loads of cash registers in them. You can hit them super fast and you very rarely find other players going here. They tend to go for high rise or some of the buildings towards the edge of the city. So in this game, I dropped in, looted just the cash registers and the crates in this building and easily found $10,000. If you had a couple of players or three players doing this and you cleared out all of the other shops in the area as well, you could easily be getting twenty dollars or even $30,000 and then couple that with a contract and you could hit that $32,000 in no time at all. I really think this is one of the best ways to do it. If you're trying to get a loadout later on in the game, it's probably better to hit up a stronghold because remember, if somebody else has already done a stronghold, all you need to do is kill all of the enemies to be able to access the crate and then get your loadouts that way. Or obviously you can still use the free loadout drops that happen a little bit later on in the game. If this helped you out at all, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribing and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye.